In other news, new this morning, a look at the projected outlook for Rhode Island's two gaming facilities. Earlier this week, voters in Newport killed a proposal that would have added table games at Newport Grand. In the meantime, voters in Massachusetts decided to let that state's casino plans move forward. Well, now we're learning some new details about how that could all impact Rhode Island's revenue projections. Danielle and Patrick, good morning. Questions have been asked how long Newport Grand will be able to last now that they won't be getting the table games. Some say the table games would have created jobs. Others say they would hurt the community. But even if Newport Grand did get those casino, get those casino games, the outlook does not appear to be good in Rhode Island. Our news partners at the Providence Journal are reporting new numbers were released yesterday during a state revenue estimating conference. And those numbers are showing the potential impact of Rhode Island's casinos with the continued development of casinos in Massachusetts. For example, let's take a look at Fall River, which is bidding for the state's third casino license. An estimate predicts if that goes through, video slot machine revenue at Newport Grand would fall from almost $45 million to about $13.5 million in just five years. The chief of the state of Office of Revenue Analysis says by then or sooner, the facility in Newport may be forced to close its doors. Best case scenario for Newport Grand is said to be a casino opening up in Taunton, but Newport Grand would still lose more than half of their revenue in that location. Taunton would take an even bigger hit on Twin River Casino. Now yesterday the Massachusetts Gaming Commission pushed back the deadline to apply for the Southeastern Mass Casino license to February 1st. Live in the newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.